Hello, welcome back to HWRadio.com. You're here with your main man, Hollywood. And today we got Canelo Alvarez versus Callum Smith. And this here, I don't know what's going on in boxing, but man, it's been great fight matchup after great fight match. I say great fight matchup because some of them fights didn't turn out how we wanted, but we definitely wanted to see them. We didn't even predict this one. You got Canelo Alvarez going up against Callum Smith. And I don't know, but the question really is, did Mayweather turn Canelo into a beast? Because Canelo Alvarez has been taking people out left and right. And he's another person like uh, Anthony Joshua. Like, people don't want to give him his credit. You got to give Canelo his credit because he delivers every single time. Without a question mark. He always delivers. Only question mark on his resume ain't even a question mark. We know that he lost to Mayweather. But ever since then, he has shown you that it takes a loss to become a boss. Because now he is def definitely the boss of boxing, I do believe. He's bigger than everybody else. Even though you got Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence out there, I do believe Canelo is the one that's holding up the flag. Like, a, uh, you know, you had Deontay Wilder. You probably still got Deontay Wilder. I still would watch Deontay Wilder fight. But ain't nobody doing like Canelo. He got a whole backing, a whole country behind him because, you know, he ain't let him down yet. And that just adds on more countrymen and more country women. But let's get into the fight because the reason I say this is another good one because people are going to have to give Canelo his props and just do after this as an, a great fighter because this man then went to, from middleweight to light heavyweight and all I can tell you is he definitely carrying the power with him if you seen the way that he, he sent Sergey to sleep on the ropes he made him take a whole time out with that punch but we got Callum Smith who's another great fighter just not seen in everybody's eye but he actually has some canelo attributes about himself too to where callum smith has knockout power not only does he have knockout power he has the reach he has the reach and he's a good fighter mayweather didn't have the reach he was just a good fighter so does Callum Smith have the jab that can upset Canelo? So, I mean, betting people out there, it sounds like we might have to take a look at the odds. Let's see what they are. Okay, well, it's not that big of a spread. We got Canelo. You have to spend $500 to win $100. And we got Smith, which is the underdog. You bet 100 you win 350 plus, depending on how, how it comes all the way out. But this is going to be on the zone, so make sure y'all subscribe and order that the zone boxing the app go to the zone.com go to the zone.com and they'll give you the instructions on how to do so but this fight right here is real dangerous for canelo alvarez and he throws himself in the fire and the reason i'm saying that it's real dangerous because you know you had sergey which we do believe sergey was a little bit slower wasn't his uh in his prime self smith is in his prime self then you got triple g everybody say triple g older now a little done slowed down this guy once again is in his prime he's in his prime he has power and he can box so what this is gonna make for is kind of like a mexican war fight this is gonna be this might be Canelo's trilogy match right here with Smith. I, now, I can say that I do see that. We might be seeing a part two, Canelo versus Smith too. So, y'all keep your eyes open on that. But Canelo Alvarez, there ain't too much to say because there ain't nothing this man can't do. Like, after he lost to Mayweather, like, he could come any style, defend any way. Like, he's he got a whole, like, he's a person that actually, like, can learn and implement. Like, a lot of people can learn it, but then when the fight comes, they can't do it. Like, man, I told you the to arm bar. Like, yeah, man, but... That nigga hit hard. Hey, just, <laughs> hey, niggas, <laughs> they got all kind of excuses in the world. But what I'm trying to say is, is the Canelo, I mean, I really can't, there ain't no explaining, It ain't no explaining what he can do, but what I can tell you is, is for Smith, he's going to have to have a good jab to upset Canelo. 
Because that's what, if you look back at all the tapes, that's what Mayweather had. He outpointed Canelo. Because Canelo going to break you. Hey, he got the best combinations in the game. That's why they call him the body snatcher. Because he going to come for your body and he going to come for your head. And he got enough power to make you put you down with a body shot or take you out with a head shot. That's what makes him super dangerous. So your best bet. Is to try not to get caught up in the combinations. And try to leave as simple as, hey, or one, two, because he's coming. <laughs> but that's going to be the show. So, you know, tell me who you think going to win. The people in the UK, I want y'all to talk about your homeboy Callum and tell everybody, you know, tell them his history. Break it down for him. Let them know that that's y'all Canelo. We just know about Canelo a lot more here because of De La Hoya. But that's going to be the show for today. So make sure you go over to hwlradio.com and download the radio station app. That's going to be it. That's going to be all, and I am gone.